Okay guys, so the next step is for us to implement a method that can help us get the list of friends for a particular user. Okay, so I would like to encourage you as we go along the series, try to do these things on your own first. Before you watch, for example, this episode, try to achieve the response that we're expecting on your own. For example, right now we're going to implement a method to get a list of friends. Try to do it on your own. Try to query the database to see how it works. And it's going to be really helpful because the main purpose of this is so that we become better at what we do. Okay. So if you are successful, then it's okay perfect and uh, if you feel there's no problem at all we're gonna do it together okay so let's dive into it and this method was a really complicated method not difficult but complicated and that's why I decided to do it prior to the video and I'll just explain how I did it and of course if you don't understand anything just drop a comment and I'll reply as soon as I can okay so right here I would like to divide the friends of that particular user into two the first group is where this user was the requester meaning he's the one who asked to be a friend and the second group right here is the group where he is the one who was being requested to be a friend okay so if I'm supposed to be your friend one person has to ask so if I ask you to be a friend if I send you a friend request that's the first group and the second group is where you are the one who sent me a friend request so for the first group we defined a friends array and this friends array is an empty array so the we are gonna get the friends where this user was the requester so he's the one who requested to be a friend request and we're gonna get the second group of friends where this user was being requested to be a friend and we're just gonna merge them and send the results there are of course a lot of ways to do this but I'm just gonna stick with this one it's the simplest okay so how do we get the friends of the user first of all we query a database we make sure that the status of that friendship is one so we filtered all the friendship requests that are pending and all that so now we have the list of friendships and we get the list of friendships where the requester id is equals to the user id whose friendships we're trying to get and then we just pass a get method so that we get a response a collection from the query builder because that's what the where method returns to us so first we get all the friendships in the database that have been accepted next we get all those friendships where the requester id is equals to this id meaning the user whose friends we are trying to get so for each of those friendships remember these are instances of the friendship class which is our model so for each of those friendships we are going to push to our friends array and what we are going to be pushing are instances of our user class so that we'll get the users who are friends so we are going to query our users table using our app user model and we are going to find the user where the id is the user requested okay so we are querying the database to get the friends of this user in the case where he was the requester and of course he was requesting to a particular user and if the user has accepted it means that the status is one we're just gonna get the user classes or the instances of that user who he requested to so we're just gonna find in the user table where the id is the user requested as soon as we find one we push to the friends array so that's the first group of friends the second group comes in where the user was the one who was requested meaning he just sat down and someone sent him a friendship request and then he accepted so first we filter all the friendships that have been accepted and next we filter all the friendships where this user was the user who was being requested to be a friend and then we get all of the results so that we get a collection and not a builder instance now for each of those friendships that we found in the database what we're gonna do is push to the second friends array okay so we're gonna find the user who requested this particular friendship okay and since the status is one obviously they're friends so we're just gonna push the result to that array so this is returning us a user instance and the user instance right here is the person who requested this particular friendship and this particular friendship of course has been accepted so they're friends and we push to our seconds array and what we do at the end of that is simply merge the two arrays so the two groups of friendships and we return the results okay so I think we should go ahead and try this out to make sure it works and uh, the easiest way to try that out is in our web file so first of all I just like to flash my database php alison migrate refresh so now that we have a clean database we'll have to call tinker and uh, create dummy users into our database so app user and uh, we'll just create six of them 
so the users are created thank you tinker now first thing so we'll first of all add a friend and then accept the friendship request and get the list of friends so first of all we have to add a friend so we'll find the user of id1 and we'll add the user of id2 as his friend so let's go ahead to that route so add so we've added a friend let's go ahead and accept the friend so we'll find the user of id2 and we'll accept the friendship from the user of id1 which we just sent here so accept okay so that request is accepted now let's go ahead and get the friends of all the user of, of all the friends of the user with id1 so if we go ahead to our friends route okay so he has one friend which is user of id2 if we find the friends of user of id2 he has one friend which is user of id1 and uh let's go ahead and send another request so maybe the user of id4 wanted the user of id1 to be his friend and uh, we add it so add the next thing is to accept that request so we'll find the user of id1 and he's going to accept the request from user of id4 so we say accept and he accepted the request so the status is one and then let's get all the friends of user of id1 and there should be two of them and there we are so we have the user of id2 and the user of id4 so seems like our method is working correctly